The professional difficulty level in Resident Evil 4 Remake is OPAF, and, and I don't know how anyone can get through it without breaking your controller or wanting to smash your console with a well-placed kick. Now, I know it's possible to get that S-plus rank in the professional difficulty mode, but the challenge and the road to getting S-plus rank is not an easy one. Now, of course, it's not gonna be, you know, we're supposed to be professionals to get it, right? Well, <laughs> I'm not. This is my second playthrough, and it's been beating me down, making me think like, I'm not that good at gaming. Like, it honestly, at times, feels as if it's unbalanced, which I think a lot of you watching this will agree with me at this point, un unless maybe, you know, I'm, I'm just missing the mark here, which I've missed numerous times in my attempt. Uh, the 15 saves you'd think would be a enough, but it's not. The, the enemies seem to be able to predict your movements, even pulling off maneuvers well before they should even see you coming. Like I've walked through doors and then all of a sudden I see an ax being thrown at me. It's like unbelievable. Now, an S plus rank in the professional difficulty mode can probably only be achieved by knowing which path is the best and doing your very best to avoid certain enemies if you don't need to confront them. Like, keep in mind you have a set amount of time you need to beat the game in order to get that sweet, sweet S-plus rank. So you can't just lollygag. Otherwise, you know, you'll find yourself facing an ammo drought pretty damn early. Uh, with which has happened to me. Uh, and if you do, well, it, it'll put you at an additional disadvantage on your gameplay session in professional. It's already hard as is. You don't need to add anything else onto it. Like, I'm still learning, you know, the kinks to this and, and how things kind of flow. Like, you know, I know there's like an enemy, there's enemy zones. I've noticed where certain enemies won't pass a certain particular point and will just, you know, turn around and go about their merry own way and mind their business. Like I found myself taking advantage of that uh, once I noticed that uh, that was a thing that was happening uh, in certain spots. Now, I've been sitting in, in torment uh, for hours playing, doing my very best to not go online. Uh, to get some pointers from other sadists who <laughs> enjoy torturing themselves with this particular difficulty mode. But, you know, I've reached my breaking point where I, I just realized that, you know, I'm not above getting some pointers from, from the community. Uh, I'm also just curious if, if this might just be a me thing or, or maybe uh, I, I need to work on my own skill levels a little bit more. Or maybe there's other people going through the same thing uh, with professional mode. Now, there's so many small things that can destroy any perfect playthrough in the professional difficulty mode. I've wasted so much time on, on particular parts, like, you know, fighting off a mob of folks with Luis. Uh, I, I, was, I was really upset about that. And it was really tough, but I really feel the save restriction and, and the limitations that come with it are, are what really kind of, you know, make things difficult in professional. At least that's one of the, one of the main things, I would say. Uh, there's more to it than just that, of course. There, there's a plethora of things, but to me, uh, that's one of many. Uh, I sometimes, you know, wonder if the RE4 devs, you know, I sometimes wonder if the RE4 devs, you know, just put this almost impossible challenge in the game, not knowing how hard it would be, but, you know, just assuming that, you know, that there's someone out there that would be able to achieve it and beat it. It, it might not be easy, but it can be done. And I know some people have done it. Um, I, I know some people have achieved that S plus rank, but again, the road to it is not easy. I personally, I tapped out at the water room in, in the castle. I just, I just couldn't push myself any further. Uh, also, I don't know, did, did I mention that I'm also playing using the chainsaw controller on PC? Yeah, I, I've been playing it on PC, using it, and it's been mentally and physically taxing. Um, it is fun. I mean, it's it's novelty. It's it's a novel controller, but I've been playing using just this, and yeah, it's it's been very complicated. I honestly just just wanted to do it for the lols and and for the internet credit. You know, if I beat the game S plus rank using this, you know how much how I, the internet will go wild. I would assume. I don't know honestly. You know, but you know what the blisters on, on my fingers are telling me to stop and maybe pick up a more, I don't know, forgiving game like. To Chia. I think I think that's free on PS Plus now. But yeah, anyways, I wanna I wanna hear what your experience has been like uh, if you're playing 
on professional. Like, give me some tips, you know, just, just let me know if, if I should push forward or just kind of leave the towel on the floor. Like, maybe if, if y'all give me some, some of that, that spirit bomb energy, I can, I can push through. Hell, I might even, I don't know, I might even stream myself playing it uh, with the chainsaw controller. But, but y'all have to promise me not to, not to laugh at me uh, when you see how many times I die. Please. Uh, anyway, if you made it this far into the video, I want to thank you so much for watching. And hit that like button and subscribe for more gaming content like this. New videos every single week uh, about something happening to me personally in the video game space or, or just in general. Something that might affect us all. Uh, anyways, I'll see you all in the comments. And uh, yeah, let's talk about it.